Hi everyone, uh, we are Kelvin here. So we just finished the lead code 144. Let's discuss about the last question, the fourth question in the contest. So this question, um, you are given a valid uh, parenthesis string. So they want to separate this parenthesis string to become a um, sequence, like a uh, subsequence, uh, two subsequence with minimum level. So level is like the depth of the nested substring if you see here um, empty string actually have a depth of zero and this one only have one level at max so it's one and this one have two because here one level two level at most so it's two right so we want to separate this um, valid parenthesis string to become two valid parenthesis string with minimum number of nested level right so this actually can be approached using a greedy method. So for example, our input here is things like, let's say this one, right? So mm, we have a open, close, open, close, and open. Let's say something like this, right? So we have two group, like let's say group A and group B. And basically we can finish this question by fully um, using greedy so a and b um, let's say both is empty we put it we, we put the first character here to become a right and we made a close so when we made a close actually close can only be put to um, a because a have the, at least one open so here it have one open so this one being put into the a right so this one is like uh, for A, this one is for A, and now this one, um, because here it's actually being resolved, right? So the maximum level is one, and when we close it, it's zero, so this one is another one, so we can put it still in the A, right? So now the maximum level is one, and then we made another open bracket. So if we put this open bracket in A, it means A have maximum level of two we don't want that so we put this this one instead in the B right? and we made a close so close we try to close the biggest level um, since it's the same so it doesn't matter I will throw it to the A and another one to the B right so we can close it we can close it and then here we made another open so since all are already closed, so the maximum level now is A is 0, B is 0, so we can add it to either one. We add it to A, and then we made another close. Since B don't have the open, so we put the close for the A. Yeah, so the output here is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. And any output is okay as long as the, the, the minimum level here is still 1. And yeah so let's try another example like mm, open 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 close 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 right so in this case we have we, let's say we put the open in a and then another open we, we, we made another open right so we if we put it to the a a will have maximum level of two which may not be the case so we try to put the open to the minimum level like if b is smaller than a we, then we put it in the b so this one is for A, this one is for B, and we need another open since both have same level of one. Then we put this in any of them, let's say A. And when we close it, um, I wanna close the biggest one, but actually it doesn't matter since it's always valid, right? So I close it for the A, and here I close it again for the A, and then I close it for the B, so yeah. And the maximum level is one, which is a uh, correct case. So how we actually do it in the code? So um, I actually have two lists to remember the index of which one is the first group and which one is the second group. And I have another integer to make sure the current level and maximum level just for my printing purpose, like debugging. It's not related to the answer at all. So if we made an open bracket, and if let's say the first is 
is empty or first open level is smaller than second level then we want to put that bracket to the one and i remember the index otherwise we want to put it to the two if um, actually first open level is bigger than two then we put it on the, on the second one so if we made a close bracket i want the close bracket being used to the biggest number of bracket like if second have higher level then we try to close the second one otherwise we close the first one and after we finish actually it's asking us like which index is belongs to group first group and which which one is belongs to second group so because i already remember the index there so we just kind of look through the index of the first group and look through the index for the second group and mark it as one and the first we mark it as zero and then we return that um, output yeah so that's all about this question so it's kind of yeah um, not very hard i think it's a greedy problem so yeah Thank you for watching and see you on the next lead code contest. Thank you.